We're going to make a social media banner today, specifically LinkedIn. The banner size, which I already have made before, so we have a 1584 by 396. And I am going to work in 300 DPI scale with Control or Command T and pull this up to a size that I think will be usable. Object selection tool and select our lion go to select and mask to refine this i'm just going to adjust my radius and then i'm going to pull the edge back click ok make a mask with that by pressing this little make layer mask rasterize this i'm going to go ahead and apply the mask as well right click press l for the lasso tool i'm going to clean up this back area as well but just with that selected i'm going to go over to our content aware fill We'll see how it does. Not bad. Uh, we'll accept it. Click OK. Control uh, Command D to deselect. And I'm just going to use my eraser. We have a soft brush going. That'll be fine for our purposes. I'm going to use Liquify and we're just going to have some fun with this. I'm trying to make two interjoining mascots. Go to Filter, Liquify, choose our Warp tool. Density set to 100, pressure to 100. And I'm gonna make my brush relatively big and I just wanna pull this out to make something strands of fur. That's gonna work for me, I think. I make a copy of this, holding down Alter Option and dragging up in layer. Control Command T for the transform tool. And I remove the pivot point to about the center area where I want it to mirror. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. I'm gonna press Enter, drag this over slightly. I'm going to select this mascot on the right, hold down control or command and press on the layer to add a selection, add a layer mask to that again, and then just paint it with black. And I'm just going to erase the middle part just to make this look like it blends in a little better. Add a gradient in the background. I'm going to make a new layer, press G from the middle, the middle of our mascots. And then we have something like that. We're gonna use the symmetry tool real quick. So I'm gonna add a new layer, change our color, change our brush. I do have smoothing on about halfway. And then I want to go over to my symmetry tool, which is this little butterfly icon. And you have all of these options for different types of symmetry. I'm gonna stick with the vertical, grab it over to the middle. I just want this to look like that hand drawn over a photo look. Start working on this. Then I want to bring in our second color. If you come over here to the foreground color picker, change your color to whatever. I'll just make one real quick. Now, if you come over to your library and press the little plus symbol, it automatically has foreground color. I'm gonna leave this up to show you. You can change it on the fly as well and change it to a blue, click okay. It's just gonna change. I'm gonna turn off symmetry for now. Let's make something else fun out of our type. I'm gonna select the type and you have to make sure the type is selected for this. Coming back over into our libraries panel, if you press the plus button, you get this extract from image up top and we're gonna make a pattern that we're gonna drop back behind everything. Now you can't really see what's happening because because the white on the transparent is what's in our display. But if you go to grayscale, then you can make your adjustments, something like that. Before you add to save to your CC library and you want the transparency, make sure you put it back to colors. Click save to library. It's gonna save it, double click. And then we have it in the background, but it's way too big. I'm gonna bring this down to about three. Click OK, change this over to like overlay. I'm gonna bring it down just above our background layer and lower the opacity to taste. We wanna have a conversation with our bottle, right? I went ahead and made a handwritten note that says, let's chat. Scale this down, putting it right over here in the corner. But then I wanna make a thought bubble. Make a new layer called bubbles. Paint with white. So I'm holding down shift to make straighter edges and I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna race out a little bit here. I'm just gonna make some more of these bubbles that lead over to our lion. I want to have one maybe coming off and then there we go. Press controller command to select our let's chat. I'll make a new layer because I think I want this to be that blue. And with shift F5, go to color, grab that blue. Oop, click okay, fill that. And now we have let's chat over there. Bye everybody.